hey everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys and teaching you guys how to do time remapping properly and effectively for your gaming montages in premiere pro inside of premiere pro so this is going to be a long video i guess because i'm going to be telling you guys what exactly is time remapping where you guys mostly go wrong where 80 percent or 90 percent of the new editors and even intermediate or advanced editors go wrong while doing time remapping and how to fix that and what are the do's and don'ts of properly executing the time remapping effect for your video all right so let's get started all right so before i teach you guys and show you guys how to effectively use time remapping and create really cool effects for your video uh let me just get rid of the important part which is uh, the do's and don'ts of the time remapping where you guys mostly go wrong and how to fix that okay so before you understand where you go wrong you need to know that how time remapping or the slow, slow motion effect works in the software and how to use that to your advantage you know and you can use it to your advantage only if you know how the software works right so when you create slow motion parts of the video what the software is actually doing and this is to not just for the inside the premiere pros uh, within inbuilt feature uh, it is true for all the third party plugins they also work in a similar way right so what what is happening is that when you're creating slow motion so the software uses uh, artificial intelligence and it tries to blend frames together like you know the forward frames together with the current frames so that it creates a really smooth slow motion effect so what i'm trying to say is that let's say for example i create let me just mute the audio come on all right so let's say i create a uh, i want to create a slow motion over here uh, where the barricade is breaking and my character is like you know simply going inside the building okay inside the window through the window so let me just quickly create a slow motion over here and now I select this part I create a keyframe over here in the timeline and I fill this part where the character is entering through the window Okay. so now if i create a slow motion and reduce the speed down to let's say 10 percent i think 10 percent so what is actually happening is that now my since my original clip was on 60 frames per second so technically if i reduce the speed down to 10 percent it would mean that right now my clip is going to be playing back at six frames per second so without any optical flow this is how it actually works because it is playing back at six frames per second for this part of the timeline right for this part of the video so hence that is why the images are not smooth and as we all know that we need a minimum of 24 frames to make the image look smooth right so now if i select optical flow i'm going to speed and duration and select optical flow to create slow motion and i'll just simply press enter on my keyboard to render this part from in and out so what the software will do is like i said before it will try to blend the frames together the future frames together with the current frames to try to show you smoother frames together so something this is how it will look like my bad sorry about this okay so this is how it will look right so this the software is trying to trying its best to blend the frames together to create like you know the forward frames together with the current frames to create a slow motion but as you can see there is a lot of artifacts happening over here and that is because as you can see it is since it's blending the frames together hence the artifacts are happening and the frames have a lot of motion and uh, like you know destruction uh, like you know the slow motion part which is like it has a lot of motion and destruction so the frames are not going to look pretty smooth right and if I increase the speed a bit, let's say from 10% to let's say I increase the speed up to 40%. So 44% would mean around 24 frames per second, right? So yeah, for 60 frames per clip, 40% would mean 24 frames per second. So now if I play it back, it's a lot smoother than the than, than what you just saw. The slow motion is like the duration is less, but yeah, it's still it still has artifacts because it's still like you know the it's still trying to blend the frames together as you can see hence that is why it has a lot of artifacts over here right let me just show it to you show it to you guys in a full screen right 
so still it has a lot of artifacts but still it was much better than what you saw earlier so this is where most of you guys go wrong you think that using this effect would be a magic tool like it's just not possible right so this is where most of the people are going wrong and hence that is why you need to understand exactly what the software is doing and how to use this to your advantage and now since you guys understand exactly what the software is doing and how to use this to, to your advantage and what would be the do's and don'ts of doing the time demapping properly and, uh, and slow motion properly right so like i said it becomes difficult for the software to create smooth slow motion where a lot of motion slash destruction is happening or shooting or stuff like that is happening within your gaming clip right so the best duration or the time frame i would say or uh, to create slow motion would be like you know the parts where the motion which is happening is not much okay so like you know it is uh, the motion not much i would uh, instead of saying not much it would be like you know the motion is pretty uh, similar to each other like for example this repelling through the window this part if i select this part let me just simply get rid of this i'll just simply duplicate the layer again and if i select slow motion over here from this part let's say okay and to this part until this part and I create a smooth slow motion let's say I reduce the speed down to 20% now and now what's gonna happen is that when the playback will happen since the frames are much more similar to each other now so when the blending happens the software will not overlap the clips together because the blending which is happening is much simple like you know the forward frames are much similar to the current frames current frames hence it becomes easier for the software to simply like you know blend the frames together and create a very smooth slow motion right and similarly let's just take another example all right and now if i am to create a slow motion over here um let's say this part over here when the shot is happening okay so this is like you know these are the very common mistakes which most of the people do uh, when creating slow motion and time be mapping okay so let's say i want to show a slow motion on this part over here and i reduce the speed down to let's say again 20 percent okay the speed is down to 20 percent I'll just quickly render this into out and see what happens. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, artifacts happening in this clip as well. That is because again, like I said, there's shooting, destruction, the movement is there as well, right? So hence it becomes a little difficult for the software to create smooth slow motion playback. You see, it looks pretty bizarre, like not bizarre, I would say, but yeah, it doesn't look that clean com as compared to this part, which we just did right now. Okay, so now that we know how the tool and the software actually works, how it creates slow motion effect and how like, you know, the time remapping actually works. Now let's use this information to our advantage and let's create a really cool effect in the video now and let's sync it with the audio as well. Okay. So how I like to work, like I'll show you guys how I work and how I create my time remapping effect and you guys can work as, as you want but this is how I actually work. So what I do is that I'll just simply uh, create some markers on the video and the audio so that it becomes easier for me to do time remapping creating markers helps a lot trust me guys okay and if you just simply want to create a marker on your audio or video like just keep your video layer selected and press m on your keyboard to create a marker and similarly you can press like you know select your audio layer and press m on your keyboard to create another like you know a marker over there and if you create a marker by mistake just simply press ctrl z to get rid of that marker from there right so that's how you can create markers and these markers are very useful while creating slow motion okay so as you guys can see i've already set up my clip and uh, my audio and video 
and I've created markers already so that I can you know increase my sp uh, work speed and more, work more effectively okay so now what I'm gonna do is simply create a slow motion effect on the video And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating some speed curves. Speed curves would be like, you know, uh, sudden fast motions followed by slow motions. Okay. And just see which parts of the clip I'm using, uh, like, you know, the parts, the, the frames which I'm selecting for these sudden speed curves, because the parts which you select for speed curves are very essential and it comes with time in practice sometimes it's a hit and trial method but yeah it comes with time in practice only then you can make use of this effect properly so it will take some time to learn uh, learn this effect properly so just don't be like you just suddenly go into the software and start putting random curves anywhere it's not going to look good trust me okay so now i'm going to be creating some speed curves over here on the second video layer Okay, so I'm going to be selecting this part of the video, create a marker in the timeline. I'll just simply zoom in so that I can work more effectively. Create marker. So first, uh, create marker on timeline, speed timeline. First, I'll create all the speed, uh, all the uh, markers on the speed timeline so that it becomes easier for me to know which part, uh, on which part I want to do fast motion or which part I want to do slow motion. Right. So I'm going to simply go forward in the video. I'm going to come to this part, create another marker and I'll just simply create uh, cuts over here as per the timeline markers in the audio layer so that you can, you know, I can uh, sync the audio properly with the video. Okay. Um, now, I muted the music audio by the way, uh, in case you guys are wondering. Right. And now I'm going to be creating speed remaps okay so let's just increase the speed by two to two twenty five percent then decrease the speed down to ten percent over here increase the speed again up to three hundred percent over here i would say okay so these speeds which you're choosing it's completely up to you how you want to use it with the audio and how you want to sync it with the audio so this is one of the beats within like you know the sync is going to be happening so what i'll do is and now once i've created a few speed curves over here so what i'll do is i'll simply press on this uh, keyframe over here and drag it to the right so that i create a little smooth slow motion like not smooth slow motion a smooth speed curve so that when the effect starts to happen it's a little smooth again i'll uh, track the timeline over here and smoothen this out a bit and Similarly, I'll reduce the duration of this part a little bit up until mm, like, like this, something like this. Then I'll simply drag this keyframe again and reduce the speed of this clip until this part where my beat is happening so i'll just create a cut over here so that you guys can see exactly where my beat is and it becomes a little easier for you guys to understand so i'll reduce the speed of this clip to let's say 25 percent and i'll just simply bring this over here like this so i'll just simply create a cut over here and create another cut over here so i'll get rid of these above clips from here and what i'll do is i simply create another cut over here where my key uh, this is ending uh, this keyframe is ending and i'll duplicate this layer again and drag it up over here so that it becomes a smooth motion as i've created the time remapping over here i'll simply select speed and duration go to optical flow and yeah, just like that, I'm going to be creating. Uh, I'm going to render this from into out. And now let's see what I've created. Oh, wait, let me just turn on the audio. So pretty sick, right? So that's how... Uh, that looks pretty nice, I think. Like, 
uh, let me just i forgot to sync the audio so i'll mute the music for now go to the audio clip so now the keyframes like you know the parts where i created those uh, like i just showed you guys in another in the previous tutorial that how you can sync the audio with the music uh, sorry with the video uh, on which you do your time remapping so i'll simply press the r button on the keyboard to bring up the rate stretch tool and come to this part of the audio decrease the speed like you know increase the speed of this audio then drag it over here increase the slow motion speed of this audio i'll just put this below i'll just quickly adjust this as per my clips you know on the timeline so you can press v to come back to the normal selection mode press r to go to the rate stretch tool right so again gonna be reducing this part and again gonna be doing this part and i'm gonna be putting in some default transitions in between so that oh by the way if your transition is not in the middle just simply select the transition like that go to effect controls select center right cut and it's gonna be coming it's gonna come to the middle like this right so yeah okay there we go okay so i'm gonna be reducing the speed of these clips uh sorry the volume of these clips a bit the audio clips so that it doesn't hurt my ears a bit and now let's see how this looks with the music So yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and this is how you can create a cool time remapping effect uh, for your video i hope you guys learned something new today and make sure to subscribe to me and follow me in my socials and join my discord as well because i will be releasing some uh, some presets for you guys to use in future and i'm going to be making much more tutorials going forward from now on uh, for both premiere pro and after effects so stay tuned for them as well and till then peace out thank you so much for watching the video bye bye everyone and have a great day